Well, it's uh, day one on my trip to the Redwoods, and I've got this shot here set up. It's a panoramic on my 4x10 of um, these tree roots growing on a fallen redwood tree here. And the tree is actually growing straight up out of it, so I thought this was an interesting scene to photograph. Okay, currently making a 35 second exposure. This is on Portra 160. And I've got a center filter on the front of this 150 millimeter. So I had to uh, take a stop and a half off the uh, exposure. Two, one. Overall, I'm happy with the composition. I just wish I had waited a little bit longer for a cloud to pass overhead and diffuse that light in the top right. It's just a little too bright and distracting in my opinion. Well, it's uh, midday now, and I've been hiking around here for a couple of hours. Just been um, using my little viewfinder here to try to put a frame up on a couple scenes, because come tomorrow, if I don't have uh, a shot planned out and the conditions are perfect, I probably won't be able to uh, get a shot. So I'm gonna uh, keep walking around here and see what else I can find. I'm out here hiking on this ridge, which is kind of getting, getting me off the forest floor, and that's going to help me with my depth of field. It's giving me a nice amount of distance between myself and the subject. Um, but another thing it's doing is I'm trying to avoid the sky in the photograph because it'll just show up as like a, a really bright highlight. And um, so by getting up high, I'm looking a little bit further down on the scene and uh, avoiding any uh, highlights. It is perfectly calm. The issue with this shot is depth of field. It is quite a challenge. I'm on a 300 millimeter. Okay. Now this is my first time exposing Kodak E100. And I must say I'm really enjoying the color palette. As far as the composition goes, I feel like I need to pan my camera a little to the right, 
but there's a large tree to the right, and I was trying to avoid putting that right on the edge of the frame. Another thing I'm noticing is the tree on the left, there's not good separation between the foreground tree and the background tree. And that's something that I was really trying to avoid, but sometimes in these forest scenes you just, you can't avoid it. So I'm shooting at f45 with a metered reading of 15 seconds, which on hectare is 30. On these long exposures, I'll just keep it down here and uh, put it on T, hit it once, and then wait. That way I'm not touching the camera. Thirty. Nice. Now, if I didn't already know that I'm about to take the best photograph I've ever taken in the Redwoods, I'd say this was my favorite photo from the trip. But it's not. Oh, the conditions are really something right now. This is going to be an 8 second exposure on E100. Just waiting for the wind to die down. Absolutely insane conditions. I sure hope that one came out.
gonna move my camera a little bit. So it's a metered of 15 seconds. This is gonna be a 30 second exposure after reciprocity. Well, I'm gonna call that a wrap. <laughs>